So um, I zipped up my my uh, or I fixed up the errors that were in my EPUB as indicated by the EPUB validator. Uh, I fixed them up. I saved the files and I uh, re-zipped it into an EPUB. And I'm going to try uh, validating again. We'll see what happens. So uh, I'm going to browse. Uh, I named it the same file, my ebook dot epub. So we'll validate it. And uh, you just kind of, kind of, you know, keep doing a little bit of trial and error and really going meticulously through um, everything inside all your data points. And up oh, there we go. We won. All right. So uh, validate epub document. So that's good to go. You have to have a valid epub file for a lot of the uh, the big distributors, or they won't like put your their, they won't sell your stuff. So you you have to kind of work through this. Um, now that we've uh, got a you know valid EPUB file, uh, we can open it up with like um, Adobe Editions or something like that. Uh, you know, just have a look. Um, you know, just double check everything's good. You know, the margins are all okay, and uh, you know, just double check, make sure everything's a hundred percent. You also want to check all your links, make sure they're all going to the right place, and all uh, other things like that. Now, uh, what we can do is, uh, now that we have this valid EPUB file, uh, we can actually go and um, kind of use a program called uh, Amazon's Kindle Gen. And what that'll do, that'll convert the EPUB into a Mobi format. So we're going to have to go back into the command prompt to run uh, uh, Kindle Gen. It's another command line prompt program. Yeah, it's real exciting. I love this old stuff. Um, all right, so I'm in my, uh, my root directory inside uh, temp1 I have my kindle gen installed in uh, a folder called kindle gen you can just run it like this just to see what kind of uh, flags it has uh, I always use the C1 the standard DOC compression and I also use this verbose output uh, I saw on a forum somewhere that this is guaranteed to like not cause bugs and I've never had a problem with it so I always use these uh, this the C1 field in verbose so what you want to do you just uh, basically just gonna run the program from the command line so Kindle Gen you know it's in a folder called Kindle Gen um, and then I'm gonna do um, um, you know the file name there and then I'm gonna insert these uh, these fields here C1 verbose and you just get these like this crazy thing here and I'm gonna go through and it says Mobi file successfully generated but we want to double check and see if there was any errors or anything um, let's see what we got here alright that's all looking pretty good uh, sometimes you get this error like if you use uh, the the at page function in the CSS it'll get kinda of screwed up so you have to be careful about stuff like that so now that I have this uh, this Mobi file, as you can see up here, I'm going to open up my uh, my Kindle Previewer and just kind of see how it looks. Um, and th this is like you know pretty much if it looks good on the Kindle, that, that it's good because you know the Mobi really the only place that sells Mobi is Amazon, and they're talking about going to EPUB, which would make everyone's life easy, but they still want to use Mobi. So uh, we go in here. Uh, we go and uh, let's have a look at the file. Um, okay, we're opening it up, and uh, once you know, once this thing opens, let's go here. I don't know what the oh dear. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long. I, I hope that's not a not a bad sign. There we go. I probably just have too many programs open. So uh, as you can see, it starts in chapter one because that's where I defined uh, in the guide section of my content OBF. I defined it as the uh, you know type equals text. So it goes here, but there's actually like pages before here. Um, see, there's the title page and there's a cover page. Um, you want to make sure, you know, uh, you click on here, like cover, and, you know, table of contents will go to um, what you defined in the guide section of the content.opf. Uh, I defined it to go to the, you know, table of contents HTML page. So, uh, and you can also look at the NCX. And you know you want to click through here and make sure everything looks good. Uh, one thing that Mobi has a big problem with is margins. Like sometimes margins get really screwed up, so you have to kind of really be careful about the how the margins look and everything else. Um, these all look pretty good. Um, you click through like different sections, it's going to the right place, you know things like that. And then you kind of have to troubleshoot this a bit. And you can try it like on different emulators. Like here's the Kindle for iPad. Uh, let's see how that looks, you know, kind of similar thing, you know, this one's actually in color, that's kind of cool. Um, but, um, so now we've got this valid Mobi file and we've got a good EPUB file, you know, that's pretty much all the formats that get sold, you know, in, 
for ebooks in 2011. So you're done.